Since Roblox has given Gilded a ton of cheddar, and I mean a ton of cheddar, I decided to dive back into Gilded to see if it's actually a viable Discord alternative. Now, I say alternative because Discord's just way too big and powerful. Speaking of powerful, this video is sponsored by Ugreen. Ugreen's 100 watt gallium nitride Diginess power strip utilizes the improved efficiency of gallium nitride to provide a compact powerhouse for your desk or bedside needs. I use it at my desk to charge my iPhone, iPad, my laptop, and to power my Google Home. The high-speed 100-watt USB-C ports are incredibly fast, and Ugreen claims it can charge an iPhone 13 to 60% in 30 minutes or charge a MacBook Pro 16-inch model in 90 minutes. With three AC outlets, three USB-C ports, and a USB-A port, you can charge all your devices and even power other electronics with one convenient, organized solution. Thankfully, all that power is safely contained in a fire-retardant case with overload, overcurrent, and grounded protection. If you want to learn more, click the link in the description, and thank you to Ugreen for sponsoring this portion of the video. Alright, so getting back on topic, I know most of you like Discord Nitro, well, at least like the features of it, and thankfully Gilded has all the Discord Nitro features, but for free. For example, this is an alt account I have, and it has an animated profile picture. Now, unfortunately, there's no animated banner, so we can't have the most pristine anime profile, but at least we can have something that's, I don't know, somewhat cool in this day and age. You also notice that there's no Nitro badge, but I don't think any of us care about that. Uh, moving on, you can have animated emojis anywhere, and I mean it. All right, let's just get a scenario made up. Imagine you're talking to your super hot e-girl, and you want to send an animated emoji of, I don't know, something like hearts and kisses, and try to be cute. Well, with Gilded, you don't have to pay money to do that. Animated emojis are free. Look, uh, I have a verified emoji on my server, and I paste it in. But guess what? It doesn't stop there, sweetheart. Billy Mays with the Gilded advertisement. No, I'm kidding. But if I go to a different server and I go to the general channel, I can actually just click on my emojis and oh my goodness, I can use my no text to speech emoji and other server ADAs. Boom, boom, done. It's free, baby. And uh, do you want to send a sick love letter to your e-girl? Well, you can with a 4,000 character limit. Now, I'm not going to type out 4,000 characters because this video would be longer than it already is. Do you want to upload a 500 megabyte file? Maybe some uh, fan fiction artwork you made for your e-girlfriend? <laughs> You know what, I'm really thinking that this e-girlfriend doesn't exist. This uh, theoretical situation is probably some sort of parasocial relationship to Pokimane or something. And in terms of another Nitro feature that people want, remember 1080p, 60fps? You don't have to pay for that on Gilded, baby. Start streaming. Uh, I don't want to turn on my camera or else this would turn into some sort of sick, twisted Twitch stream where I'm in a hot tub with a bra on. Or, sorry, swimsuit on. Very revealing swimsuit, though. Anyways, sharing my screen, I can go to entire screen, smoother video, source, 60 FPS, share screen, kaboom, it's already happening. Look, like, I ain't paying money for this, and it's it's already there. Anyways, disconnecting from all the friends I was just talking to, I'm totally not uh, mentally deranged, uh, there's a couple of features that are actually not available. For example, I don't need to pay to have some sort of banner on my Discord server. I don't need to server boost to have more than a limited amount of emotes. Theoretically, I can have an infinite amount of emojis, but I don't think anyone would use that many. I barely use more than three on a day-to-day -day basis. And you can even have a custom invite link. I already have one, no text-to-speech, and it's on a first come first serve basis so you won't be able to have uh, something uh, funny like I don't know uh, gilded.gg slash fart. In terms of things that you can't actually have you can't have role icons as you can tell there's no way to add icons unless I'm really stupid but I don't think there is icons and also look how many permissions there are. Another thing is that this banner can't be animated I've tried it. And finally, the last thing that people probably care about is that the uh, audio quality, if I go to uh, voice settings, the maximum is 256 kilobits per second, whereas Discord's max is 384. Will this really matter on a day-to-day -day basis? No, you're talking to people on Discord. Most of them have Walmart mics anyways. Now, the last time I looked at Gilded, it was uh, pretty miserable. I was, I was quite sad about it, and that's because they didn't actually have bots. But now, Gilded, since they got bought out by Roblox, I, I think, they now have bots. And we're talking, you know, giveaway bots, uh, some sort of entertainment bot, role-playing bots, which would be great for my e-dating scenario I keep setting up all the time. And then there's an auto-mod bot called Yoki. Now, I tried the Yoki bot. And to be fair, it is fantastic. Like, it is a necessity, which means the person who developed it did a fantastic job. Sorry, the people that developed it did a fantastic job. But it's still kind of, it's not as polished as a lot of the Discord bots. We're talking, I had to do, like, a, a whole bunch of commands, and they're just sometimes not working. Like, look how complex that looks. Anyways, I want to make it clear. While the bot isn't, like, perfectly polished, it is a massive step in the right direction. Like, before, Gilded was dookie. Like, I would not recommend it to anyone. But now this one... Auto mod bot 
has changed my perspective massively. You you know, before, if you didn't have this Automod bot, you'd had to hire like 300 young volunteers who would love to work for free to moderate chat. And now you can just overwork four of those young fellows and have auto mod, which is great. Now, in terms of bots, Gilded actually has an XP bot. So if I go to settings and I go to bots, you can have your own XP bot and you can edit it. And you can actually customize a lot of the triggers and stuff and make it very specific to your own needs. And the goodness doesn't end there. I actually made a banana milkshake today and that was fantastic. Oh, we're talking about Gilded. Going back to level rewards, that joke sucked, by the way. You can add a level reward natively. So add level reward, you can select the XP level, and you can give someone a roll. So, you know, if someone gets past level 6, really difficult, then they can get free owner. No need for extra bots like, you know, Discord, you need extra XP bots. It's all built into Gilded, which I think is actually great. Now, speaking of roles, there's actually two things that Gilded does a fantastic job of that Discord will probably steal in the future and make a Nitro feature so they can get more money out of innocent children. Uh, it's Gradient Roles. So if you look at my roles here, most of them are just a single color, but this owner role and admin role are actually a gradient, and you can customize your own gradient. So you can have a little sunset, and looks like that, parrot, Ireland. And if you think these color combinations are limited, you can just make your own custom gradient. So you can make it basically impossible to read. Wow, that's awful. I like sticking with the presets because I think uh, Gilded has good color taste. And one final thing about roles is that you don't actually have to have a bot for like auto self roles. What you need to do is just click on your profile. So I'm on my alt account right now. I can just click add roles and I can select any role that I want. And this can be set actually by the moderator. So if I go back to my server and I go to settings and I go to roles, I can select any of these roles and make it self assignable. So it's kind of a dangerous permission if you accidentally set it as admin and then your random user could just go in and give themselves admin. Now, another thing I want to talk about is actually the performance of Gilded. Last time I looked at it, it was as painful and as scarring as my grade 8 PowerPoint slideshow on the male reproductive system. Anyways, since Gilded got purchased by Roblox for 1 billion Robux, things have been going a lot better. I'm telling you, like, it's actually really smooth. Uh, this is the bot owner's server and it's really snappy. Now, I've talked a lot about the similar kind of features that Gilded has with Discord, but now I want to talk about the features that make Gilded stand out. First off, if you're someone who has Patreon content, OnlyFans content, or some sort of content, you can actually have premium subscriptions. So you can enable it, you can select your payout country, and when you do that, you can add different tiers. So you can add a copper tier where someone pays $5 a month, they get a role, and then you can customize the role to like, I don't know, show up-and-coming YouTube videos, to show up-and-coming feet pictures. Nope, just kidding. That's for the gold tier, which you'd set for like $100 a month. But anyways, you have this premium membership thing. Now, to be fair, Discord is rolling out this feature as a very exclusive beta feature, but Gilded had it years ago. Like, it was literally available when I looked at Gilded last time, which was like a year and a half ago or something. Now, Gilded aside, I can't wait until Discord rolls out this uh, premium subscriptions thing because there's just going to be a sea of tier 3 simps, I mean tier 3 subs, that are asking for feet pictures from, you know, their favorite content creator. Subscriptions aside, let's look at our own Gilded profile. Now, you might be thinking, uh, Discord's profile, there's nothing to really talk about, it's just a thing. Well, Gilded's profile is a little bit different. It's kind of like your own custom page. You can have feeds, write your own posts. You can have an about me that's long. Like, look how long this is. And you can add your social media. So as you can see, there's a lot of options, but the most important one is definitely the Roblox one. If you don't have a Roblox uh, account linked to your Gilded account, then I'm not going to be friends with you ever. But anyways, you can have your own banner. It won't be animated, like I said before. You can have an animated profile. You can change your username. You can have a little status here that isn't actually your active status. It's just kind of like a little tagline. So you could say like, no text to speech the worst fart smeller that always gives kisses at the end of the video. And you have like stonks badges, which I think is just if you invite people. Yeah, so I'm going to throw this link in the description so I get a whole bunch of these badges that I'll never use. Then on the left, you can add like games and stuff. So your Minecraft account, add game, and then you can log into your Minecraft account. So if you want people to like add you in a game, then all they need to do is go to your profile and just look at your name and add you on like Hypixel or whatever Minecraft servers there are. And one last thing about profiles that I think is actually really cool is that you can have your own URL for your profile. So if I go to uh, my incognito tab and I go to Gilded, and I just do gilded.gg slash u slash no text to speech, and I press enter, it takes you directly to my profile. Now, the killer thing with Gilded, and the main reason why I personally am attracted to it, is because of the amount of different channels you can have. If I click on add channel, look how many there are. I'm going to quickly go through them. You have chat, which is just basic chat. 
you have a streaming channel which basically acts like discord's voice call anyways you can start streaming or you can just join voice and talk to yourself and hear the voices in your head you can message people in the chat channel so it's like the built-in chat channels but it has the same ui you can share your screen turn on camera mute it, it's exactly the same but now we have voice channel and voice channel is pretty interesting because it's basically like team speak if you've ever used that before so i made one channel this is the voice lobby and this is basically let's let's pretend we're in a cooking show right the voice lobby up here i'm basically the judges i'm talking a whole bunch of smack about oh my gosh christina's new apple pie actually looks like garbage and it's not gonna be good and tts alt is christina making her beautiful apple pie and i'm talking a whole bunch of smack and as you can see the alt account here can't see what's going on however if i mute myself on my main account and i talk in my alt account you'll notice that i'm not able to hear what's going on now the reason why you would use this is because let's say there's a short amount of time running out and you know christina's cooking in the background i'm talking oh my gosh things are gonna go bad and i need to say something like guys there's five minutes left even though all the rush of cooking shows are actually fake i can just broadcast so you set a broadcast keybind and now if i press, press and, hold, and w, hold w oh goodness, oh goodness there's, a, there's lot a lot of feedback but basically, but basically now, now my alt can, can hear, hear exactly, exactly what i'm what saying, I'm saying. why am i talking weird it's because i can hear myself and it's at a delay and i'm losing my mind now next up there's calendar and as you can see this is my calendar so at 10 a.m to uh, 12 p.m i need to record my gilded video and i am going and it's working i have a lunch break I can edit my schedule. You can have different, you know, server time zones, your local time zones, see the events, create events. It's, it's a calendar, okay? There's nothing too crazy about it. Now, next up is the scheduling tab. And basically what you can do is you can kind of like click and drag and tell your availability. And if I create an event within someone's availability time, so this is gonna be like, let's play Minecraft ERP. And I select a calendar channel, have some sort of time and click create. What happens is that if you're available for that time frame, you'll actually get pinged. So I was available, I got pinged to look at this calendar event. My alt account got pinged to look at this calendar event. And if I look at it, I can click going, maybe, or decline. So it helps you synchronize when, you know, your friends are available to play some games. And uh, to answer the question, yes, I'm going to the Let's Play Minecraft ERP. Now, next up is announcements. It's just like Discord, but it's a little bit more refined. It's not a text channel. It's actually kind of just like a blog post where you can see things. It's great. I think it's more refined than Discord's. You have forms, which is a beta feature in Discord. It's on Gilded already. It's the same thing. Basically, you can put in like video ideas or whatever ideas, write scripts. And speaking of writing scripts, you can actually just use the documents channel where you can put in documents and you can click on it. And now you can read the B-movie script. The best part is you can actually copy the link to this document, put it in the forms channel, and you can just paste it in. And now people will be able to directly go to the script if you did have a script. So they click on it. Now they're in the B-movie script if you wanted to do, you know, cross-linking and organizing. This is actually a great tool if you want to have like a mind map, but you don't want to go through the pain of learning Notion or Obsidian or all that other stuff. It's approachable if you want to get into that productivity scene. Now next up are lists, and they're basically to-do lists. So try to be funny. If I click on the comments here, it'll say really hard because you aren't funny. Okay, so I'll probably just have to delete that item. I uh, can't check that off. And my next thing was to crack a fart joke, but I did that previously so I can check it off. And you can see your completed tasks and you can hide them. It's just a to-do list, nothing crazy. And finally, there's the media tab, which is actually pretty cool. If you had like some sort of art contest or just a gallery where you want to show people's fan art or people's strategy drawn on maps for some sort of game. Now, the next two things I'm going to talk about are basically kind of server related. So if you want to own or manage a gilded server, this is very important. And also if you do want to actually join a server, First off is applications. You can actually create applications that people have to fill out to actually like be able to join your server. Now, another cool thing about Gilded is that you don't have to have like 100,000 channels where you have like a Minecraft category or a staff category. Instead, you can actually just create a group inside of your server. So if I click group or add group, create a group, now I can set it to whatever I want. So this could be like, I don't know, Fortnite art smellers, and I could set the game to Fortnite or something. And then I can add membership for everyone. So everyone could either join it and talk about Fortnite, or I can make it restrictive where it's some sort of custom user membership. And one last thing I want to talk about because it's funny is Gilded has a partner program. And unlike Discords, it's not as rigid. It's actually, you know, you can apply for it even if you don't have a massive Gilded server and they, they kind of process it by a case by case basis. So it's probably more achievable. And that's because Gilded isn't trying to be this mega corporation like Discord and try to be super evil. You have to be the top top people of discord instead gilded's a lot more like the homies so back to the title of the video 
is gilded.gg a good alternative to Discord? I'd say so. If you want something that's more advanced, that has more features, and you don't have to deal with Discord saying, oh, we have these cool features, but they're hidden behind Discord Nitro, give us $10 a month or you don't get them, that you don't have to deal with that crap. Gilded is very much just kind of like, you have a ton of features, you can use it however you want. And ever since Roblox bought Gilded and just kind of gave them the finances to do what they want, Gilded has gotten a lot better. Things are snappy, like they're pretty fast. I think this is a completely usable platform and people won't be disappointed with it. So anyways, this is Gilded and this is the end of the video. Bye bye. I love you. Mwah.